A huge thanks to Brian for sponsoring this video. Video. Last time around, we, <laughs> we have um, solved a logarithmic equation. It was a lot of fun in various different ways. We have done so. And today we want to go the other route. What we want to do is we want to solve this exponential equation. Namely, what we have given is that 7 to the x power is equal to 196 and this is equal to 2 to the y of power. And what we have to evaluate is the quotient of the product of x and y and x plus y, the sum. Yeah, this is what we are going to do today. And I'm going to show you my first way that I came up with at first and then maybe a second way. And that's basically about it for today's video. By the way, video has been sponsored by the wonderful people over on Pre. And if you're not yet familiar with logarithms, exponentials and the like, why not take a look at their wonderful calculus and also algebra introductory courses. More information at the end of the video, other than that link in the description if you want to check it out. Now we are going to dive right in. Now, um, First way I did was to just not use logarithms. There's actually an easy way to not use logarithms here. Namely, what we are going to do is we are going to write out those two equations separately at first. And then we are going to take the x root and also the y root um, respectively. Now, what I mean by that is we have two e equations here on this because we have two equal signs, obviously. So 7 to the x power is equal to 196. And also 2 to the y of power is equal to 196. And now what we can do is we can solve respectively for either 7 and 2 by taking the 1 over x or 1 over y of power, meaning that's the x root or the y of root. Meaning we now got two equations once again, these two equations being that 7 is equal to 196 to the 1 over x power and also 2 is equal to 196 to the 1 over y of power. And well, if we have a system of equations given, what we can do is we can manipulate these equations. We could, for example, add those two equations. But if we were to add those, okay, on the left hand side, that totally checks out. We get 9. On the right hand side, we get 196 to the 1 over x power plus 196 to the 1 over y of power. This doesn't work out nicely. So what can we do with exponentials that actually works out nicely? Well, exponential functions in general follow a very nice functional equation, namely that if you have um, a to the b of power times, um, really doesn't matter, um, let's say, yeah, since we have the same base, a to the c of power, we are going to get, since they have the same base, by the functional equation of the exponential function, that this is a to the b plus c of power. And yeah, what we can do is we can multiply th these two equations together and well, then we are basically settled because then we can take a look at the um, exponents and then we are basically done. So what we are going to do is we are going to multiply these together. So 7 times 2 is the same as, well, that's very hard. Um, successor of 13, obviously. Um, and this is equal to 196 to the 1 over x power times 196 to the 1 over y of power. By this rule that we have up here, the exponentiation rule, we have the same base, we can bring it together. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add the exponents together. So 1 over x plus 1 over y. And now, well, what we can do is we can now add the exponents actually together. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand this first one by y over y and the second one by x over x, giving us overall that 14 is equal to 196 to the, okay, then we get x plus y, since addition is commutative, we can do this, divided by x y. And well, now we are basically settled because what we have up here is basically what we are looking for just the reciprocal of that. So let us try to transform this equation a tiny little bit such that we get what we are seeking after um, in our expression here. What we can do is we can raise both sides by the reciprocal of what we have here by raising it to the x times y to the x plus y of power. Okay, um, same thing here. x times y divided by x plus y. By the exponentiation rules, okay, I'm going to write it out for all of you who are not familiar with that. So a to the b to the c of power is the same as a to the b times c of power. Meaning if we were to multiply those two together, reciprocal multiplied with the regular number 
is just the identity in general, meaning what we're going to get is 14 to the x times y divided by x plus y of power is equal to, well, 196. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a proof by uh, taking a sharp look at our e equation. Let me, if you have your times tables and your perfect squares in mind, then you're going to notice that 196 is the same as 14 squared. And we have talked about this before, since the exponential function is always increasing, okay, at least if we have a positive ex exponent, we can just compare our exponents here if we have the same base. Meaning if 14, 14 to the blah 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 power is equal to 14 squared, then we can say that the blah 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 power is equal to 2. So x times y divided by x plus y is equal to 2. And this is what we want to find out. Yeah. This quotient up here must be equal to 2. And this has been the first method. Now the second method involves logarithms. There are actually many ways to do so. You can probably do a change of base, but that is rather useless in our case. Um, I'm just going to improvise something with logarithms because uh, it's definitely going to work out in some kind of way. If we take a look at these two equations that we got here originally, what we can also do is we can um, either take log base seven on both sides and also log base 2 on both sides. Or what we could rather do is take the natural log on both sides. If we were to take the natural log, then 7 to the x power by the logarithm rules is going to turn into x times the natural log of 7 is equal to the natural log of 196. <clears throat> and also for the other equation, we are going to get y times the natural log of 2 is equal to the natural log of 196. And now what we can do is, um, at first what we can do is we can take a look at our square number once again and we're going to notice that uh, 196 is 14 squared, okay? Meaning if we get the log of 14 squared, what we can do is we can drag the exponent to the front, the two here in both cases, giving us two new equations and dividing both sides by log of seven and log of two respectively, they are not equal to zero since seven and two are not equal to one, obviously, we're going to get a new system of equation, namely that x and y are respectively equal to. Here in our case, we're going to get um, two terms. Now, what we're going to get is um, log of 14 divided by the log of seven. And also down here, we're going to get two terms, the log of 14 divided by the natural log of two. And well, now we can go at this from many different angles. There are a lot of things to do, so, and this is what you would get um, after doing a change of base, basically. Um, here, if you just take the log or, uh, base seven and log base two. Um, but what we can do is we could, for example, go back to this step that we did here and take the reciprocal once again of um, x y divided by x plus y. Okay, if we take a look at the reciprocal, we are going to get x plus y divided by x y and we know what this is if we were to use the additive um, property of our numerator we are going to get x divided by x y which is the same as 1 over y and also y divided by x y is going to give us plus um, 1 over x and we know what x and y are respectively namely they are um, on the one hand if we take the reciprocal so 1 over y this is going to give us 1 half and then we are going to get log of 2 divided by the natural log of 14. And also the other way around, we are going to get plus um, 1 half log of 7 divided by log of 14. Now we can factor out the 1 half here. This is something that we can do, okay, using the distributive property in the real numbers. And also we have the same denominator now, meaning we can just add the uh, numerators together and log of 2 plus log of 7 by using the logarithmic properties is going to give us just um, the log of 2 times 7 divided by the log of 14 and obviously log of 2 times 7 is log of 14 log of 14 divided by log of 14 is just one, giving us one half for the reciprocal of what we started with. Meaning if we were to take the reciprocal, we are going to get once again uh, two, two is equal to um, x times y divided by x plus y. 
This is just another way, okay? And you could use five different methods with the logarithm to get to the same result. But yeah, this basically settles it and I hope you were able to figure it out on your own. I believe so. We have done higher mathematics here on this channel before. And I'm soon back to higher mathematics with quantum calculus and also arithmetic derivatives. But be before we get to that, maybe you should brush up on some calculus fundamentals and also some other things that we have done today by checking out the contents of today's sponsor Brilliant. Now these challenges from time to time are a lot of fun. I have a lot of things to do at the moment, be it woodworking, at school, etc. Et but I like making these videos from time to time and you can nicely brush up on some fundamentals here once again like r logarithm rules and the like. But this is not all that mathematics is about. Mathematics is also about visuals, intuitive understanding of mathematical concepts and all of the crazy stuff that you can find over on the interactive courses on Brilliant. Print is an online learning platform and app you can learn something new on the go by using your phone. For example, that provides you with over 60 interactive courses in all topics STEM imaginable, be it mathematics that we did today, physics, computer sciences, chemistry. No matter what it is, if you want to learn something new in the STEM field, Print is definitely the perfect fit for you. And I myself am an avid Print user. I'm using it on a weekly basis to learn new things that I wasn't familiar with before. Mathematics is huge. There are so many branches, especially also in physics with the mathematical physics that I haven't explored yet. And Brilliant gives me a good overview and also an introduction to topics that I'm not yet familiar with. And as mentioned before, all of those topics will be backed by a lot of visuals, graphics, interactives that you can play around with to get a better understanding for the things that you are doing at the moment. And I leave it to you to try it out today, to explore Prey and a bit for yourself. And if you feel like doing so, why not make sure to check out the link at the top of the description, preyand.org slash maths. With it, you're going to get free access to a big portion of Prey already, but more importantly, the first 20 people to actually make use of the link get 20% of an annual premium subscription, which is a great deal considering how much content they have available on their website already and how much content they are adding on a regular basis, a monthly basis, basically. So definitely make sure to check it out and support the channel this way. And and yeah, this concludes um, today's video and I will be back on the weekend, I suppose. Um, don't forget to pre-register for WAC, my mobile game. Also don't forget to check out stemage.eu, my platform for handcrafted products. And now the next video, I wish you guys a um, fabulous day, <laughs> I suppose. See ya!